I didn't think I would be doing this, but here we go. Has been hotel drama tier list because it got hyped and I need to cloud chase as I have walks in real life. Ah, now that's good television. Without a further ado, these are our dramas we are going to discuss today and rank them according to their baseness. Our first drama is Adam's misogyny and bigotry. If we assume Christian values are correct in the show, pretty bad, you know? But I hate how Twitter is like, there's a bad character in the show that does evil things, so the show is evil. This is C. Also, Adam is the best asshole in the series. Also, in the show, we can clearly see that angels are not supposed to be morally correct ones. Waggy drama, let's go. Latina stereotype. I didn't think anyone would actually be mad at this. No, some people on the Twitter, of course, say that Waggy as a Latina character is a stereotype of how Latinas are depicted as angry, but... Let's think for a second, you know, who is Waggy angry at? Angel, which nearly single-handedly ruined the career and goal of Charlie? Alistair, that probably would ruin everything and tries to make a deal and probably will kill everyone and torture in the hotel? Like... She has valid reasons, and she is so shown to be actually a based character with complex emotions, not just a stereotype. So I think that's not the case, but it's a really unique thing to hate. Oh, I will get to this at the end. Because I want you to watch the whole video, Angel Dust and the poison because i know you're the poison and i can't help but well you probably saw how people on the internet hate bbc pop in the show especially at the fourth episode but we can see it at the further episodes too we can see how valentino is clearly abusive towards angel the show clearly shows how evil and cruel he is and in the show, it's handled pretty good. You know, Angel tries to convince himself that everything is okay, despite everything. Which is what a lot of SA victims fall into. And even if he was hypersexual before the abuse, I think that's the reason he got aggressive with it. That's character development. And it's handled pretty good. So I will, you know, this is the death of media literacy. Misrepresenting. Which, if the f show's promise was that it would educate people, or it would show Christian values properly, it would be an issue. But the show is fiction, you know? You know, it falls under the same category, okay? It, it uses the stories of Bible and adds fiction to it, adds it a new perspective. It isn't supposed to be represented. It's not representative of how the world is. It's a fiction world. That's, that's why they are gay, quirky, spider boys at hell. This is D2. Conservatives should I? Oh, the good part. Me when I use 50k and go broke. The verbal situation started as a drama and quickly became a meme. Nobody even cares about it at this point. At this point, I don't even feel like it's real. <laughs> Verbalay spent 50k to one of the show's creators to animate a... <laughs> soft core porn of him and Charlie, which Charlie is a lesbian, so I don't really know how it works, but it's fine, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I mean, it's his money. I I don't get to decide what it is, what he does with his money. He probably earned it, but before going bankrupt, of course. This is a legend, and it will never be forgotten. Whenever I see Charlie, I will remember her verbally, so it's S tier. Loser baby. People think the song is victim blaming, which no, it's just no. Ah, no. In the show, Husk says that Angel's a loser. Just like Husk and Angel isn't alone, you know, he got company. He has a support group. He, he can talk freely as everyone around him is a loser like he. You know, that is... That's kinda cool. That's what most of the people need in their lives. You know, loser isn't someone necessarily bad, it's just someone who loses and... Angel does. You can't say Angel didn't lose, it was an L, but it wasn't his fault for getting manipulated. So he lost, but he isn't weak, that's not necessarily true. And it's not victim blaming. I think because then why would Angel stand up against Husk? He would just cry himself to sleep if Show intended it to be victim blaming, you know? <laughs> and that's a big character development. It isn't like the gaining individuality bit by bit thing was a mistake. It's it's planned from the beginning, so I will put it at C tier. You know, I get. I have mixed feelings on this thing. Most of the scary looks of Alistair in the background, you can clearly see real voodoo symbols. And voodoo is something for real. You know, it isn't just fiction, it's a for real religion. I. I. I I'm uneducated about this. I really don't know African history, the, anything about it, but like I don't think it's that big of a problem because more, like it's used in fiction a lot and not that it's intended to be harmful. You know, I can see them looking for something to make Alistair look menacing. And it's not like the show is saying Alistair is bad cause he's voodoo, you know? The show is like Alistair is bad and he is voodoo, so... I guess it's fine. Probably Fibsy should have been used as fictional symbols and not real god symbols. And this is the only drama I think is worth discussing here. Except Wordblaze, it's only good discussing at memes. Satanic propaganda. This is a weird issue, it's the same kind of people that uh, called it misrepresenting. There's a lot of theaters, a lot of movies that depict heaven as bad or depict any Christian story with a new perspective, not necessarily making God or heaven bad. That kind of people are against theater too, so I guess it's not hypocrisy. But the show is intended for a major audience. I heard people saying that Amazon is trying to push the subconscious belief that Satan could be good. I think it's all about having an interesting story. Good ideas are unique. This is why a new perspective of Bible is used a lot. Because if you put a new perspective at something already existing, and it is far away enough to be its own thing, it's actually a really unique idea most of the times. That's what has been a tell hell of a boss, a lot of movies, 
all of theaters all try to do because it's interesting okay most of the people never think of religion that way and most of the people never imagine religion in a way that demons say that sinners can be rehabilitated and the angels start singing the rules are back and white says the rules and try to fight you know it's a unique idea and they pulled it off it was fire it goes to the D tier. Lesbian stereotype of Charlie and Baggy. Now, let's discuss it. I think it goes to the same tier as Latina stereotype. Because it has the same reasons of being wrong. Now, what's a lesbian stereotype? It's mostly a tomboyish, a masculine woman and a dumb, not the sh not the sharpest tool in the shed, you know, that kind of person. That's a lesbian stereotype. That two kind of people loving each other and... But, you know, there's a lot of straight stereotypes too. Like the bad boy and good girl is also a straight stereotype and I did never see someone talking about it. Even when people talk about it, it's about how cringe it is, not how derogatory, how discriminatory it is. I I pass it. Now, <laughs> if the show gave no unique personality to Charlie or Baggy, it would be real bad. But they have a personality and Charlie isn't that dumb too. She's, you know adult character and has self-awareness. The biggest thing is showing how Charlie has a unique personality and when Angel storms out outside at episode 4, Charlie says that Husk should not force Angel into the hotel because when she went too far and forced Angel to fix himself, things only got worse. Just give him, give him space and make sure he's safe and he will figure it out himself as he's an adult. Now, this is some self-awareness I didn't expect at a show because show makers and writers are really used to making characters self-aware just to make the plot longer. See how Waggy is protective of Charlie, but she still has a lot of self-loading and she feels guilty of a lot of things, especially the episode 6 reveal, which is probably why she's so insecure, whatever. She... She is shown more than a partner in the show. Now, Angel Dust. If you didn't notice, I have a crush on Angel Dust, so anything criticizing his writing goes to the D tier. Okay, I don't really want to repeat myself. Anti-Semitism, no. This is a big issue. I saw people calling Vivzi a Nazi, which... I don't really know about Vivzi Pop's history, but I really like the show and... I think she's quite inclusive. She even has tweets saying if any of the shows of her made someone feel included or any of the things she said makes anyone at any race or personality or whatever makes happy, that's a good thing to her. And I really want to believe her. I mean, I saw people bringing up things from years ago. I don't really know if she was like that at some point, but, you know, she's shown to be not bigoted. I don't really know if this accusation is true. I just want to assume it isn't, and, you know, I never saw her being bigoted in recent times, and... I ex I think it's excusable, kinda. But it's worth mentioning and discussing here, so I will put it at B tier. Now, this is the tier list. 